dual nature of radiation and matter dual nature nothing but the radiation and matter having the wave nature and particle nature now in our previous lessons we had seen that the radiation means a uh, electromagnetic radiation means a light uh, having the wave nature in this lesson we are going to see how does uh, this light having the exhibiting the particle nature in which phenomenon it is part exhibiting the particle nature we are going to see and also how does the matter having the dual nature means uh, how does matter is having the wave nature and as well as a uh, particle nature we are going to see in this lesson first of all we are going to discuss about uh, the phenomenon in which uh, the light uh, means uh, electromagnetic wave exhibiting the particle nature now let us uh, try to understand the particle nature of uh, electromagnetic waves uh, from the topic uh, electron emission here we know that every solid contains uh, free electrons when these free electrons try to come out from the surface of the atoms from the from the surface of the metal then these electrons are attracted back to the solid surface why because why does they are attracted back because when an electron is leaving the atom the atom become positive ion this positive ion uh, attracts the electron back to the atom again that is the reason why these electrons uh, remains inside the solid surface but these electrons can come out from the solid surface when sufficient energy is applied to the electrons now every electron requires some minimum amount of energy to come out from the surface of the solid or surface of the metal now that minimum energy required by an electron to come out from the metal surface is called here work function here we define that work function denoted with the phi naught here work function nothing but it is the minimum amount of energy required by an electron to come out from the metal surface is called here work function denoted with the phi naught now this is measured in a unit of electron volt ev is the here electron volt why because work function is a small amount of energy there is a reason why it is measured in a, a small unit of energy that is electron volt uh, here we know that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules one electron volt is equals to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules how does this come here one electron volt uh, is nothing but one electron volt is nothing but it is the energy gained by an electron when it is moved through a potential difference of 1 volt the energy gained by an electron when it is moved through a potential difference of 1 volt is equal to the one electron volt now we calculate like this one electron volt is equals to here charge of one electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb into it is a 1 volt here coulomb into volt is equal to the joule that is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule in this way one electron volt is equals to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule so one electron volt means it is the energy gained by an electron when it is moved through a potential difference of 1 volt now one electron volt in joules is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules so here there is some minimum energy required by an electron to come out from the metal surface that electron that energy is called here work function denoted with a phi naught now we can give the energy to the electrons in three different ways means uh, there are three different methods of emission of electrons let's see what are the three different methods of emission of electrons the first one is a uh, therm ionic uh, emission the first type of emission of electrons is a thermionic emission second one is a field emission and third one is photoelectric emission like this in three different ways electrons can be emitted from the metal surfaces the first one is thermionic emission second type of uh, emission is field emission and third one is a uh, photoelectric emission let's see one by one first uh, what is thermionic emission means uh, when we supply the suitable amount of uh, 
heat energy means uh, when we heat a solid surface when we hit a solid then what happens the heat energy is supplied to the electrons then electrons gains the heat energy and comes out from the metal surface such a type of emission of electrons by supplying the heat energy is called here thermionic emission here thermal energy is nothing but heat energy means uh, by supplying the heat energy the emission of electrons uh, is called here thermionic emission thereafter we see field emission when an electric field of the order of here electric field should be strong means we should apply the strong electric field it is of the order of approximately 10 power 8 volt per meter means it is a such a strong electric field means we should apply the strong electric field to a conductor to a solid then what happens when we apply this much amount of strong electric field the electrons gain the sufficient amount of energy to come out from the solid surface then metal surface the electrons will be emitted from the metal surface now such type of emission is called here field emission field emission is simply nothing but the emission of electrons by applying the sufficient strong electric field that is of the order of 10 power 8 volt per meter then we see what is photoelectric emission here? Photoelectric emission means uh, when a metal surface is uh, illuminated with uh, light. Suppose this is the metal surface now. This is illuminated with light. Uh, illuminated means uh, it is exposed to the light uh, of suitable frequency. What is the meaning of suitable frequency? We will learn in uh, next topics. Now, when a metal surface is exposed with a electromagnetic wave or light uh, or a wave of suitable frequency then electrons are emitted from the metal surface now this phenomenon is called here photoelectric emission and the electrons emitted here are called here photoelectrons the electrons which are emitted in this phenomenon are called photoelectrons now photoelectric emission means uh, it is the phenomenon of emission of electrons uh, when the metal surface is exposed to the suitable for, uh, light of a suitable frequency or electromagnetic wave of suitable frequency here the electrons emitted are called here photoelectrons